Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel Today is very exciting I've been waiting to do this for like the longest time ever But my Fenty just came in And today we are going to be doing a review on the new Pro Filter Matte Powder Foundation And I haven't even looked inside Literally, I got this and I thought I might as well do a review on this powder. So I'm more of a liquid foundation kind of person and I can't go a day without using foundation because I love the full coverage look. Today, I wanted to test out whether this holds up to the claims that it says on this product. Let's open it up and see how it looks like inside. I got mine in the shade 290. Let's read what it says at the back of the box. It says it's medium to full coverage for all light as air flawless filter effect we will go on the sephora page and also read some of the claims that they say over on that page let's just open up the box and see how the packaging looks like so this is how the compact looks like very sleek i feel like it's very portable it is definitely a product where it's easy to carry around easy to bring in your bags it's so nice and small and compact easy to you know when you're going traveling or if you just want to whip it out of your bag and like apply it on your face so let's see how the inside looks like as you can see i got it in the shade 290 okay let's open it up when you lift this up there is the powder and you can just take it out and dab it on your face Pretty simple. I love how it's like, yeah, it's an octagon. <laughs> but I really love how it looks like. I feel like the color is gonna match me pretty well. This is my usual shade, even when I get the liquid foundation. Now on to application. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of Fenty Beauty makeup. But as you guys know, the star of the show for today is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Let's get on with it. Okay, let's go with the claims of this foundation. I am on the Sephora page right now. I got a 290, so that's medium to tan skin with warm olive undertones. That's exactly what I am. I'm not wearing makeup anyway. I'm going to be applying my full face very soon. I have just done my eyes because I don't really want to use any heavy eye makeup for today. So let's read Rihanna's way. It says here, apply on top of your pro filter liquid foundation for added coverage on the go. But since we just want to test out the powder foundation by itself, we're not going to be applying any liquid foundation for today's review because we want to see how well it looks like on the face just as is what it does it is a long wear light as air and no flashback okay that's something that we got to test out as well whether or not there is flashback it's blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blur finish now this is my favorite point which is sweat humidity and crease resistant now i am living in the most humid countries in the entire world southeast asia <laughs> is humid as hell and we want to check out whether this claim is right or wrong we are going to be testing that out so it is a buildable light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered claims that you can layer it on which we'll also see in this review it won't settle into fine lines clogged pores or cake up perfect reduces the appearance of shine that's something i have every single day of my life chic portable powder compact fits in hand that is so true this powder foundation it's just so easy to hold as well because it's very thin if you can see the diameter of this powder foundation it's just so easy to hold you know sometimes it's just so bulky and even you know and my hands are really small so what am i saying and now for the application i am going to be using the sponge in the compact itself just to test it out and just to see how well it's going to go on i'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand just to show you guys how it looks like honestly it's my shade perfect for me like you can't even see the difference okay now i'm taking the now i'm going to apply it all over my face losing my memory like the time i slapped all of my enemies turns out they were people from work and now all of my colleagues ain't really been friends with me i didn't have one i had many the genie, the body just by the initial application i feel like i am already in love with the powder as you can see my face is so matte right now like oh my god guys can you just see how matte my face is literally oh wow it is definitely a very poor blurring look 
So I actually took out some of the white hits from my nose and it was kind of red. I'm gonna try and layer it on my nose to see if it covers up the redness. Oh wow. It is so nice and it's literally making my skin look so flawless. This is something that I can't really get in a lot of powder foundations but wow. My skin is generally super oily. It's like an oil slick. I can't go two hours without my skin getting oily but this one is making me look so mad and I can already feel this is kind of a texture where you can go about your day and you wouldn't get super oily real quick. So I've already added a few layers and I feel like it definitely did not cake up my skin. I'm going to bring you guys a bit closer to check the foundation out. Okay, so as you guys can see, my cheeks, the front of my face, and just everything. It looks so natural but at the same time it looks really flawless and it definitely covered up my pores. I don't know what it is but girl, Miss Riri, you are coming at us with some complexion. This is stunning. I feel so beautiful right now. Okay, so now we're going to finish up the whole makeup look. But before I finish up my look, I'm going to do a flash test with my camera and we'll see if there is flashback or there isn't. Okay, guys, I literally took a few flash photos and I'm going to insert both of them right here on the screen. And as you guys can see, there's literally no flashback with this powder foundation at all and that is amazing wait do they have spf in this it doesn't claim to have any spf so i would expect to be the reason why there isn't any flashback but wow this is an exceptional powder foundation and if you guys are as oily as i am you should really really consider taking uh, the time to check out this powder foundation if you guys are just staying at home and are staying safe as you guys should be you guys can go on to the sephora website and purchase it there it's already available in sephora malaysia so make sure you check it out especially oily people out there you should totally check this foundation out i feel like it's so good for touch-ups as well so i can already see how much i'm going to love this foundation but let's just finish up the whole face and i will come back with my finals <laughs> I am back with the full face of Fenty. As you guys can see, I actually used a lot of cream products as well on top of the powder foundation and guys, it doesn't even move. Even on powder, when you put on cream on top of a powder foundation, your makeup usually kind of moves. On this one, you can see that everything is still very much in place and again i'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see how well it looks like even though i've already applied everything on my face so i used a cream blush and also cream contour can you guys see that my face looks like it hasn't been touched when i've put like literally cream products on top of this powder foundation do you actually see how beautiful and flawless this foundation is? So there are a lot of mixed reviews on this particular foundation and I can't really test out the humidity proof on this just because I am not going out anywhere today but as for the claims, let's just see what it ticks off 
the list. It's definitely light as air. I do not feel like I have anything on my face at all, even with all these products layered on top. Everything just feels like I'm literally wearing nothing and that's something that all of us want to achieve in our makeup. We don't want to feel, you know, like that heavy feeling when we're wearing makeup. Oh my gosh, you guys should totally check this powder out because it is definitely one of the best powders that I've ever tried. It has no flashback, which is true as you guys saw from the pictures before. It does brilliantly on the blurred finish as you guys see. I look like I have flawless skin and that is literally impossible on everyone. So if you guys want to achieve that no pores, flawless look, you should definitely get this powder. Sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. You know, even when I'm sitting down in my room right now, I can already feel the heat from outside. And today has been such a warm day. You know when it's like really hot outside? In Malaysia, I feel like you can kind of feel it in your house as well. And I don't feel like my face is creasing or, you know, oiling up anywhere. She's serving looks and she's serving matte looks because I don't really like looking glowy because of my oil but this one i can already achieve the glow with the fenty highlighter so i'm good won't settle into fine lines cloud pops or cake up so it definitely does not cake me up at all for fine lines let's see mm. i have a lot of liquid foundation that actually settles into my fine lines especially if it's matte and that's something that i really do not like at all but this one just glides on so smoothly on the skin it literally feels like butter or like literally nothing when you put it on reduces the appearance of shine like i'm so solid right now you guys not see this chic portable powder yes 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 anyways this is the end of my review video i hope that you guys find this very informational and if you guys want to get this powder foundation all you got to do is go on to the sephora website mine got delivered in like a week so if you guys are not planning on going out you can definitely check it out online i'm not really sure about in store but you can check it out and get your hands on one of these powders make sure you tell me in the comments below whether or not you got it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like like, subscribe to see my face whenever I post a video. Please help me by turning on your post notification bells. Also, I want to thank everybody who has been supporting my videos and just watching it. I feel like I'm super blessed because of all of you. So I hope you guys have a good day. Bye! See you in my next video.